Nelson Mandela was born on July 18, 1918, in Transky, South Africa, and his life was full of events that allowed him to learn life lessons and fulfill a hero's journey, allowing him to be a hero in our world. Mandela had a good education and assisted the University of Witterwaterstand, where Mandela became qualified in law in 1942 and met a good friend and ally, Oliver Tambo, who helped him with politics. While getting his degree, Mandela noticed the prejudice towards the black and African American people. Because of this, Mandela joined the South African National Congress, also known as the ANC, in 1944 and then engaged in the resistance against the ruling National Party. Also in 1944, Mandela married his first wife, Evelyn Mace, a cousin of the current tribe leader, Sisulu. In 1947, Mandela, Sisulu, Tambo, and a few others formed the ANCYL, also known as the African National Congress Youth League. Mandela became the president of the ANCYL in 1951. Sadly, however, Mandela was banned by the president of the ANC to attend any more meetings of the ANC because of Mandela's political work to free the people. This was a big obstacle for him. Evelyn also left him later that year. After being banned from the ANC, Mandela fought against the way the ANC had set up its military wing. After, when Mandela was attending an ANCYL meeting for the African People's Freedom, him along with the president of the ANC and about 150 other people were put under arrest by the government of South Africa. They were charged with, as the government said, quote unquote, high treason and countrywide conspiracy to use violence to overthrow the present government and replace it with the communist state. They were sentenced to life. This was Mandela's biggest obstacle. And the trial was where Mandela met his second wife-to-be, Winnie Madiskoela. Life in prison was hard and agonizing, but Mandela hoped to make his time there useful. In prison, Mandela tried to keep the spirits of those around him high, encouraging others to never give up on their dreams. Even in prison, Mandela, quote-unquote, never compromised his political principles when he was offered an early release. While in prison, Mandela's reputation grew. He was widely accepted as the most significant black leader in South Africa and was soon recognized as a symbol of resistance toward the South African government. During this time, Mandela constantly refused to give up his political position to obtain freedom. After a long and hard debate, Mandela was released on February 11, 1990. He had spent 29 years in prison. Immediately, Mandela plunged into his life's work that had been started almost four decades ago. He strived to reach goals that he had hoped to finish much earlier. Afterwards, when the ANC had its first meeting since 1960 when it was banned, Mandela was elected the president of the ANC. Mandela is currently 93 years old and continues to follow his dream. Mandela's story shows us that fighting for a cause that is right will pay off in the end. What got Mandela through the years of prison and all the hard times was his perseverance and his ability to never give up on his beliefs.